Welcome back guys, uh, welcome to the next video of Spring Boot Essential Drink Series. Now in this video we are going to start our actual project. In this video we are going to set up our actual project and I will talk about a few more things here. Before we dive into the video I want to talk about the front-end technologies and the back-end technologies for a web application. So this tutorial series is uh, for Java and using Spring Framework. So I have a few questions people ask me that how can I make a Java web applications? Now they think that the Java is the only language you're going to use to create a full web application, but that is wrong. You still need to use the front end technologies such as HTML, CSS and JavaScript. These three technologies can make a UIs for your web application such as you want to show that uh, application on a web page. So that means you need to use the HTML. You want to style that application then you need to use the CSS. You want to add like a form validation of front end uh, stuff into your web application then you need to use the JavaScript. Now Java works at the back end, it stays on a server, it provides the data for your web application. Now in this video we are going to import the project into our web application which is a gallery app image. I was going to create a sample Im image gallery but what I'm doing here is I have a project, I'm actually currently working on my portfolio project so in that portfolio project. I needed to show my recent projects and I wanted to use the Java Spring Framework to show those project images dynamically. So that's what we're going to be doing in this uh, video. We're going to import our project and make sure that it runs on our Tomcat server. Now if you look at the right here we have all the folders. So first of all let's just uh, copy all of these. So I'm just going to select all of these folders and I'm going to copy all of these and I'm going to put them let's just say here in the resources directory I'm going to click OK and it's going to copy all of this now we need to move index.html file into templates because Tom uh, because team lead template engine is going to look into our template folder for our HTML documents and then we are going to put our assets into a static folder and refactor Let's try refactoring. Okay, it's not gonna go inside, so what I'm gonna do, I'm going to drag this here and I'm gonna click on move everything from this directory to another directory. And then I'm going to add the font directory into static as well. So let's click on move and it should move everything. Let's move the CSS folder as well. And then I'm gonna move this. Uh, assets folder as well. Actually I forgot to select that option, move everything. Okay we got everything there but what thing we have the problem here. I'm just going to rename this uh, directory. So go to refactor and then click on rename. I'm just going to delete the page there and then make it static. And then I'm going to fonts folder here, CSS and assets folder here. And then we have uh, three files which are not in a scripts folder so what I can do right click create a new directory and name it scripts right and then let's try moving all of these to the script folder all right so we set up our project now let's look at our HTML file I'm just going to start from the top on the top as you can see here we have a uh, we have this HTML tag here. So first of all, we are going to add lang, given name en, and then I'm going to use xmlns, and then colon th is equal to http double slash www dot theme leaf dot org. Now we can use that th tag for our stuff here. Now let's add, I'm gonna add like a couple of uh, tags to show you guys and then I'll set up all of these things. So let's do that with our bootstrap.css file. So how do we do that? First of all, let's tag it with th colon and then in the double quotation, I'm gonna start with add sign and then add a curly brace, add a slash and then at the end, we are going to close it with a curly brace. Now one more thing here I wanna show you I actually 
I've shown you already that theme leaf template engine follows the HTML file, which means that everything needs a, a closing tag as well. So meta tag doesn't have a closing tag. So I'm going to add slash here and all of this tag and need all of these closing tags. Okay. Now I've, I've shown you how to add the URI in the last video as well. So let's do that with this one. So th tag it and then start with add sign curly brace add slash and then end it with this. All right. Let me explain to you one thing. So we tag it with th so it knows that from this line of the code and then we give it a URI where this file exists. So th means it's going to look into our aesthetic folder. It's going to go into the static folder and then we have this slash. It's going to go into CSS folder as you can see here CSS folder and inside the CSS folder it's going to look for bootstrap.css file. Right. So I have a few images here as well. I'm going to finish all of these tags and once it's done I'll come back and I'll show you guys. All right, so I have done all of these tags, th, all of the links actually done. Every tag has a closing tag as well, such as this slash here, or you could even do the meta tag like uh, like a closing tag in HTML. This is not obviously the HTML tutorial, but so we got all of these things done, such as here, this image needed that URL as well. So we given that and pretty much all of these things done. I'm going to save the file. Let's go to the controller file now. In the controller file, as you can see, we are returning home. So we need to type here index, the name of our HTML file. Now let's run our server and let's see if we are able to get that up and running in our Tomcat server. So Spring is starting. Let's open the browser and I'm going to type localhost 8000 here. And there we go. Our profile, uh, the, our, what do you call it? Portfolio is working. So here at the bottom here in the project section, I want to add the dynamic images here. So let's say every row has a three image. So I don't want to just manually add them. I want to add them dynamically. So that's what we're going to be doing in this tutorial series. This is going to be a complete application. I'm going to stop the server and then We'll look at a few other things here. We would not, we were not able to get that uh, the link here. So that is because if we go to assets folder, and here I wanna, I don't have an a back one dot jp file, so I wanna change the link here. So I'm gonna type p one dot jpg and let's rerun our server, and let's see if our if our application is up and running now if you're not sure about what is this html document how it's been styled you need to watch my bootstrap tutorial series i've done a full complete store uh, series of bootstrap on my channel check that out if you want to learn the front end uh, it covers the css and uh, it covers the bootstrap as well so let's just run it again and let's find out if it's working if we are able to get an image at the bottom there we go so we got one image there at the bottom here but we actually don't have a space between them so as you can see here our application is pretty dynamic as well so as you can see here on the top i can see that this uh i don't know what to call this but this is working we're getting we're using jquery for that as well Alrighty, so our images are showing properly as well. Here we can add some of the some text here. So yeah, that's it for this video guys. And in the next video we are actually start creating a dynamic image gallery at the bottom of our portfolio application, which is going to need a lot of Java code and that's what we're gonna be doing in the next video. Chase.